So here we are in the heart of the brewery, and I'm with John Wampler. He is the production manager and master brewer here at Legend. John, uh, very impressive setup you have here. Thank you. Tell, tell me about um, kind of how it all started, what you had in the beginning, and what it's ended up being right now. Okay, yeah, so 1994, we first started producing beer here in Richmond, and we had a uh, much smaller setup, obviously. We had uh, four small fermenters and a 15 seat capacity restaurant, and uh, we kind of organically grew with our sales and our uh, following. Um, out in step by step into the warehouse, what we call the warehouse now, and uh, took over some space and added a, eventually a 12 ounce bottling line. Uh, tell me about, yeah, I see these giant pallets of, uh, of malt and all they say. What kind of ingredients are we dealing with here? Uh, most of our malt comes from, uh, our base malt comes out of a silo, but uh, we, about three times a year we do a truckload of specialty malt. Your coffees, your caramels, your toasted malt flavors all come from a wide variety of specialty malts that we use. Fantastic. So John has promised me a tour, which means he's promised you a tour. So what do you say we get to it? Let's do it. All right. After you. So there are two sides to Legend Brewing. There's the manufacturing side where we just came from. Right. And then there's the side where the magic happens. So tell us a little bit about this. We're on the cold side of the brewing process where, where uh, the beer has been brewed and uh, is fermenting currently. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of fermenters who have short ceilings. Right. So we, we're blessed with uh, the fact that we have, we have a lot of tanks <laughs> yeah. to play with. And uh, we're looking at a 30 barrel fermenter right here, which is full of brown ale. So uh, Legend Brown, this is all Legend Brown. This here. is Legend Brown Ale. Just, just give me a second. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wash that off. I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, Legend Brown is not just one of my favorite beers made in Virginia. It is one of my favorite beers made on the planet of Earth. So, uh, I'm such a huge fan of this beer. Please tell me more about Legend Brown. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a great, approachable dark beer. Uh, a perfect balance between caramel and uh, roasted malt. A little fruitiness, and it finishes just slightly dry, and lets you expect another sip. Oh man, yeah, it's absolutely. And you, I see you got a, this is a 30 barrel yeah, container we have here. 60 kegs worth of brown ale right here. It spends about two weeks here before it gets filtered out and bottled or racked. Well, man, that's would you like a taste? Stuff. Uh, yes. Oh man. Oh, look at now, that. Now this is a little bit yeasty, so uh, just be ready for it. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at it build. You ever uh, drank a beer out of a beaker before? Yeah, that's the first for me. It's fantastic. I mean, yeah. even <laughs> even room temperature, it's just delicious. This is absolutely outstanding. So um, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's the brown talking, but uh, I can't help but notice that is moving. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, we're down there? Uh, we're at the end of fermentation, so we're seeing a little bit of uh, residual CO2 being released from the uh, overflow arm. So that's basically that's brown yeah. just breathing. It's exhaling right. a little bit. Yeah, out. as the yeast feeds off the sugars, it produces alcohol and CO2, and that's what we're that's what we're seeing here. So again, Legend Brown is your top seller, correct? Yes. At Legend Brewing, we make about uh, I'd say about 12 beers year round plus a bunch of seasonals and one-offs, but Legend Brown Ale is about 60% of our total sales. Well, again, I know um, you not only brew the beer here, but on the production side, you also bottle it. You mind showing us that process? Absolutely. Sure. Let's go. After you. So here we are at the actual bottling machine because they handle all their bottling in-house here at Legend Brewing. So, John, again, tell me about uh, this machine. What, what kind of output are we talking about here? All right, we're running it uh, typically once a week. We're running about 90 barrels of beer. Uh, various styles, a lot of brown ale, as you might imagine. Mm -hmm. um, we're running about 130 bottles a minute, and at the end of about an eight or nine hour shift, we're looking at about 21 pallets of finished product. You're saying 21 pallets come off of this machine every time you crank it up. So 21 of these, this is just one pallet, 21 of these every time they fire this machine up, and how many, how many bottles is that? It's about 30,000. Wow, 30,000 bottles. So a bottle goes in, it's an empty bottle all by itself. Tell me how it goes through the process and what happens. Okay, it takes five guys to run it, and the first guy is loading in packaging with the empty bottles in it. They get separated from each other, and then the bottles run down the conveyor. They get a water rinse, a nitrogen drip to drive out all the oxygen, which is terrible for bottled beer. Mm -hmm. And then they get filled, capped, and labeled, and around the back again, and they meet up with the same case they came out of, and then they're palletized by hand. To see one of these, uh, I've never seen one before, but it's such an impressive thing that y'all do here. That's amazing. And again, thank you so much for the tour, man. I Absolutely. totally appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to run off and uh, finish up this beer if you don't right mind. Right on. Cheers.